Don't learn SQL for business intelligence. If you want dashboards, if you want insights, use Ask Your Database. It allows you to chat with SQL databases using AI and get visualizations just like that. So you can create dashboards with literally one click. Like look at this dashboard, just boom, in like 20 seconds. Additionally, you can send in queries and it'll create the SQL and give you back a detailed response. Let's try it out here. I have it connected to a test database which has movie data. So if I post in here, which customer rents the most? It will then understand what I'm trying to ask, write the query, you can see how fast this is, man. Bring back some actual natural language response so that I can understand what the response is, and then get even deeper insights and get additional information based on my query. So if you click on here, you can see that it actually brings back information, but you don't want that information, you want to actually know what's going on just like this here. Additionally, as I say, you can create these one-click dashboards just from this, and you can even integrate the chatbot into your own applications. Like here, I just spun it up in Gemini, pasted in the link, and literally, it has created this chat with our movie bot, which has the actual chatbot embedded inside. So, how does this work? I'll tell you just before we go and show you how to actually create your own chatbot and your own dashboard. So, Ask your database. We have here me, doesn't look like me, but ChatGPT thought it did. We have an AI and then we have our dashboard, uh, dashboard or database, right? So you have you here and you want to know, say, which customer rents the most. So rents the most movies. So it's kind of like a blockbuster type of database or Netflix or something. So you go, that goes to the AI. The AI turns it into SQL and queries the database. This AI then gets this response. Now, this response is just like a nightmare to try and parse. This is not business information. You have to actually get the information out of this data. So then the AI uses the natural language and gives you this detailed response, as you can see here. And it even asks if you want some follow-up information. So it's literally like having a data analyst connected to you at all times. So... To go and get started, go over to askyourdatabase.com. I'll remove the desktop, but we'll get to that later because we can actually run this locally. From here, you want to log in, go to your dashboard, and on your dashboard, you want to create some chatbots. So we'll click Create here, and then you have this landing page. Now, on the right, we'll come our chatbot, and on the left, we can edit and change its different attributes. So we'll give it a name. We'll call it something like MovieBot. You can give it a description, so bot for movies, we'll change that to SQL bot. And then you can customize the brand as well, so you can actually have this, as I was saying, you can implement this into a website, so you can actually kind of white label it essentially and add some branding. Now the model, you can get a bunch of models, even 4.1, DeepSeek, Cloud. We'll just go with Claude 3.5. Database type, we're going to go Postgres. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this just with some sample databases. So, if you don't have one or you want to just try it out, you can go to Sample Database here, and then it shows you a bunch of the Postgres uh, connection strings like this for a bunch of different databases. Netflix, for example, here as well. But we'll just go for the first one here. So, it's our fictional DVD rental store. So, I'll copy that, and you just paste that connection string in here. And that's you, sorted. So all these other things we can edit, but we don't need to edit them to get up and running. This is literally it. We now just click Create. And then it will publish and create it on the right-hand side here. And as you see, that's it already. The bot has been created successfully. So we can say something like, who's the top customer? Boom. And then that will get sent in. And now the AI will start thinking, right, how that actual answer looks query here. So let me move me out of the way a little bit. You can see here that it's actually creating the SQL query, getting the response, which again, we don't understand necessarily, but the AI does. And then it will come back here now with the actual information and some follow-ups. Amazing. So now we have this information here based on the data top customer as Carl Seal. Next one, Carl, and then some additional context. Other top ones, Eleanor Hunt, blah, 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 right? So say now that we have this information, say we actually wanted a dashboard instead. Well, what we can do is we can come over to dashboard and we can just create a dashboard. So we'll just click create dashboard and here we'll give it a name, we'll call it movie dash, click create. And then it'll create this up here and we go into here. And now we can add HTTP API so you can actually create data sources and connect to these external data sources and we can add pages for essentially like 
our dashboards here. So we'll just call this one sales page. And here you can widget description, use natural language to describe what kind of widget you want to build. So you literally just say sales overview of all time. And then just click create. And then it can take up to 30 seconds to then go and create this. And for reference to add a data source, it is literally just as simple as when we created the chat bot. We click add data source, choose the type, and then you can just paste in the connection string and give it a name and add some documentation if you want. And then boom, create a data source and that's you sorted. And from there, you can even view the tables here so we can see what we can actually go and query against. And bam, just like that, we have the fully functional sales analysis dashboard. So it has the total sales, you can see here, we can actually see it by category as well, by store, and then the top customers plus the total spent. Now this is a live dashboard and we can actually change here as well. So say last year instead, boom, and there you can see. And so say that you then want to go and add this chatbot into an application. So we'll go to chatbots, we'll go to moviebot, and you can see here we have integrate chatbot. Now we get this page here, which has all of the information, including the key that we need to actually go and uh, add this chatbot in. So what I had done, which I don't recommend you do, but I'm gonna close down this chatbot and change it to my, my other one. But we go into Gemini. So I can go to Gemini, for example, go to gemini.google.com. We'll click create a new chat and I'll say, create a website with this integrated chatbot please always remember your pleases and thank yous paste that in and then we can generate the code in canvas click try now and then just like that you can get a website just like this which hosts your chatbot and not only that but you can actually then go and get the code as i've shown you in the integrate here and you could actually add this in to your real website that you're coding up in vs code or something it doesn't just have to be you know doing some like this this is just an idea to show you what you can do so you have a database with specific information like this movie rentals or something on netflix now you could have like you know a netflix data analyst website something like that which is super cool now in addition to having a chatbot and dashboard builder hosted online you actually get a desktop app version as well which means that everything is stored locally on your device and it's used for say internal tools for example, right? And this is exactly what it looks like here. And it's super simple to set up. You literally just download it and then that's it. Basically, you're up and running. You just create chats against your database. So see here, I've added in that exact same test database. You just, to add one, click connection, whatever you want it to be, paste it in here, boom, connect. And that's literally, it will just then connect and that's me here. And again, I can just say top rental customer and again this does the exact same thing it'll go away and it will figure out what am i talking about what do i want to know create the sql query get the information back generate a natural language response as if it was a real data analyst talking to me now not only that but it actually saves the results as a json file so i have them that i can then share with people right share with the data analysts for example now here as well you can change which model you want to use so you can use Again, Sonnet, GPT, DeepSeek, but also up here, you can actually train it to get better responses. So you can add database documentations, SQL examples that you want it to follow, and you can actually get it to self-learn as well, which is well cool. So if you want to check out Ask Your Database and never write a SQL query again for your business intelligence, check out, it'll be the first link in the description below. I highly recommend the tool, it was so easy to use, especially for beginners. So if you liked the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.